Good morning! Today's the day I hit 100k. I'm out feeding the sheep at the moment. There's slug. I'm currently at 99,822 subscribers. So I have 188 to go. Let's open this up, get these children fed. We're using both the front bin and the back bin for the beans. So today's game plan. Feed the sheep, bring some sheep in to be crutched. Hit 100k. And then, oh, and my sheep need to come in because they're being shorn tomorrow. My pets. Stay tuned. Slack. These girls are running over for their feed and their lambs, which is good. We need the lambs to actually run over for when they're weaned, which will be coming up soon. I imagine it's going to be probably not next week, the week after because we're not expected to have rain for the next 10 days, which means the grass is pretty much gonna die. So we need to try and get these lambs to wait. For the most part, the lambs are looking really good in this paddock. There's a couple that, you know, you'd want to be better. These two paddocks have emptied the bins. So we're gonna have to go back and fill them up. It's filling. Turns out it sounds like that because of the angle it's on. There's nothing we can do about it. Just kind of sit there and watch it and go, great. I've filled up with the barley and corn and now we've just got the beans to go. We pulled that off. So now the org is in there. We've got to feed down the lane with the crossbreds. Then we're gonna go down the road to the other crossbreds and the other crossbreds, the other crossbreds, and then the merinos. Almost there. Just got a new Patreon supporter too, so shout out to them and the YouTube members. You guys are helping to fund these antics. I'm at the exact same spot in the crop where I did this last time. This is what it's looking like now. Fook size comparison. This is how it's, this is how it's going. I'm 157-ish centimeters. So this is what it's looking like. This is how tall it is. Wild oats are out in force. They do get better from, there's about four rows and then it gets better with the wild oats. This is what the barley's looking like. Size comparison to where they were. They're actually starting to get quite heavy. See how they're starting to droop like that? That means that the seeds are actually filling and they are getting like a bit heavy. See this one here? It's got the drop on the side. The seeds are a lot firmer. Oh, I just cracked that one. That is all of the, the juices from the water. And then as it dies, those juices will become a powder, which then becomes barley. When you crack barley, it's a powder. It's looking good. Now this, for those of you who are interested, this is planet variety. Um, there's different breeds of barley. This one's called planet. Off we go. Put it up. Switch down. I'll open the back one first because I think it has a block. Yes, it does. It does have a block. There is a random helicopter. We're actually just Yellowstone and that's just that's just Beth on her way to go fight a bitch. As you are fed, we're just on our way back down the lane. About to go past the beans. They're just this tall crop here. This is the beans now. All the flowers are gone and died. This is what they're looking like close up. They are firm. They are like, they're looking good. Like this is squish factor. Not a lot of squish factor left on these beans. Quite a few beans on each of these stalks. Those ones on that one, that one there, they look good. But that's where the beans are at. They look very similar to last time. Here are the late oats. Still, they're, they're not thriving, they're surviving. No, this is not grass, this is oats. This is what they're looking like. They look like grass. Here's the patchy bit from last video. As you can see, still patchy. Last thing to check is the wheat. This is what the wheat's looking like now. It's starting to look quite good. Um, size comparison. This is what it's looking like at the moment, up close. That's 
that's what it's looking like. It doesn't look as heavy as the barley sometimes. As the wheat dies, what's going to happen is this is going to tip over and it's going to kind of look like that. Just imagine it all looking like that. Okay, let's go feed the sheep. I just had another look at the subscriber count. I think for you, for the video, I might edit in each clip because I've been screenshotting how, like, before I video each clip, I might put it on the screen or something. I am 75 ish i think 76 away from a hundred thousand subscribers 16 year old me would be crying screaming and throwing up right now that's hype slug slug that's hyped she could not give less of a shit i haven't actually showed you how to start a motor and apparently you guys like when i do videos on how to do things so here's how to start a motor turn the key into on position Sometimes it'll have like a switch. This one's got a key. The other one, the bean one has a switch. This black one here is your fuel. Do I turn the fuel on? I've got to turn the choke on. So it's going to force the fuel in. Then we pull and we pull. Turn the choke off. Put this down and engage. I'll show you how to stop it as well. That's probably important. So to turn it off, you just turn the key off and turn the fuel off. We turn the fuel off because of on the angle it's on, it leaks a bit. But that's how to use a motor. I guess you're welcome. All these ladies and germs are ready. The lambs are actually looking okay in here. I am pleasantly surprised. There's a ewe with triplets by the looks of it. Mama, you are late, but you've done well. Good job. I think they're keen. The merinos are too, by the looks of it. This paddock that they're in is normally a merino paddock, but because where they were has started to die, they had to be moved to a different part of the farm. These girls are already up here waiting. They know it's dinner time. They must have heard the other ones. And then we've got the ones behind them and the merinos left to go. Also, subscriber check. I'm under 50 away. I'm at 45 away now. Starting to get real slug. She's like, more please. I wasn't going to mention this, but I probably should. Um, I'm going to be rebranding the channel to Tara Farms because of legal reasons yes um i don't it's not ideal after <laughs> i've had this um branding for seven almost eight years now and i'm gonna have to change it to tara farm so i hope we're all good with that i've already changed the instagram i'm gonna do the tiktok today and probably the youtube after i hit 100k tonight Marinos, hello Marinos, hello, hello, hello. Who's ready for some dinner? I just checked again. I am 29 away. 29. Still zero shits. What if I, what if I give you treats? Dinner? Lyca. By the looks of it, I'm gonna hit it with the Marinos. How fitting. This is probably the most exciting thing that's ever gonna happen in with the Marinos. Turns out it's actually really easy to change your channel's URL and username. So it's now Tara Farms. I literally just did it from driving from the Marinos to here. Yeah, so that's why my name username's changed for those of you who are wondering. I've been trying to draw O's and um, a one <laughs> with the grain, however, it's not working very well for me. 20. I am 20 away. I just went to pee and turns out my fly's been down the whole video. So it, I, I'll have to <laughs> edit around that. I'm 11 away. Let's type it. We're 11 away. Seems like some strange things are going on. That's funny. 10. 10 away. 9. I just checked again. 8. We're eight away, slug. We're eight away. Seven. I don't know. I've, I'm finished in here. I don't know whether or not to go back and start moving the sheep or wait. 
because I'm not going to have internet service. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'll shut this gate and I'll head back to the farm. I've got to be close by the time I get to the farm. I fucking did it. I fuck. Oh my god. We did it. 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 We're at 102. We have done it. Typo, we need to get in the wrap. I had to inform everyone. But my god, we've done it. Typo, where, where did I put the dog? I lost my dog. Typo. I put her in the car. Hey, Slug. Now we've got to bring the sheep in to be crutched. Seven years that took me, almost, it'll be eight in December. I started posting the um, the farm vlogs and stuff in Feb late February this year, so about eight months ago. And I went from about 30,000 to 100,002 in, in like the last two months, really. I want to thank everyone who has subscribed. You have literally, my 16 year old self and my 25 year old self is on the verge of tears right now. Seven years this has taken and I'm so happy I'm finally there. I, the, the adrenaline rush that I've got right now is next level. Oh, for your record, that is the time. So I hit it at about 10.40 today, I think. I think it took me about nine minutes to celebrate. These are the ladies here, out there, somewhere, that are next booked in for the spa. So we need to go bring them over. There are sheep in the way, so I'm gonna put them into this paddock and then decide what I'm going to do. These ewes are being a pain in the bottom. Pop her here. Has she seen them or is she still just running? I think she's seen them now. Brought the sheep back down and the other ones were in the way. I don't have much battery left, so I couldn't record much of it, but I'm gonna have to get someone to control the others while I bring them through. Trying to get up to the gate up there. It's not working too well. They kind of don't really want to go anywhere. I got some new boots. Cooper, do you approve of my boots? He approves. Well, I left my other drink bottle on the table at lunch. So we got Winnie the Pooh now. Don't know what that chicken's problem is. <coughs> Come on, let's go! Liam's on his way to get the milkies. Slowly moving the prime lines over that way to the gate in the corner. Um, then, because then we can bring the cross sprouts from the paddock behind and next to that one, through and down to the sheds. I'm not gonna let her out to do these. This is kind of a gentle stroll sort of thing. So she's benched for the moment, unless we need her. The front of the mob is making their way back up the hill on the other side. I just need to find the back of it in here somewhere. Looks like hopefully they are making their way over there, which is where they need to go. Still working our way over. Just trying to get them to organize themselves and go that way. They're kind of standing at the gate, but not going through the gate. Very annoying. They're actually starting to walk down there. Let Typo out and sent her down there. I'm hoping she'll push them up. And then if I push them this way, they'll have no choice but to go through the gate, not the fence. God, don't go through the fence. They've found it, they're going through. Oh, they stopped. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over and open the gates so they can go in that front paddock because that's where I want them to end up. And then I'll bring the crossbreds down and hopefully by the time I get back with the crossbreds, they will have gone into that front paddock. Here's the gate, let's open it. Just got a warning for an earthquake, very random. 
I don't feel anything. I don't know. I didn't feel anything. Anyway, so the, theoretically, the idea is they should walk all the way around along this fence and then through that gate because they kind of do like an explore of the paddock situation. So hopefully they find this gate and go through it. Here are the crossbreds and lambs we're bringing in. They're a slug. Just going to take them up this hill, put them through the gate and into that paddock. And then we need to get this paddock here as well. We're doing paddock, couple paddocks at a time. So there's at least 200, 300 sheep for each time we shear, which makes it a bit easier. Typo sitting out there for when we get to the gate by the looks of it. Yeah, she's coming to get this bitch. These lambs look okay. Like, not great, but okay. A lot more up here than I thought there was going to be, but... <sighs> we'll get them off, I suppose. I mean, we don't really have a choice. <laughs> I'm hoping she actually collects them and brings them back and doesn't just push them all the way to, down the other side of the hill. All right, they're coming back down now. Looks like the one at the front has the right idea to go to the gate. So I'm hoping all the rest will just follow suit and go to the gate. Looks like she, she is going to the gate though, which is a good sign. Oops, she's gotten off track. Oh, she's off track. I really love when they do this, when two thirds of them are over there and there's a third over here. I love that. It's really good because I'm going to go over here to get these and then they're going to run down over the hill away from us. I'm glad you enjoyed your little trip, however you've kind of fucked my whole system. There you go, back over the hill. Who would have thought? Not me. Try this one again. There they are in the other next paddock anyway. And there's the other mob up there. They haven't come over and the prime lines have stopped as well. This is going really great for me. See this one here starting to go. Typo did see it. She was, she was on her way. She was on her righto. Up. So I need to be on here. And I kind of... Stay there and weave whistle. The move them up whistle. And then she's gonna run straight past the gate. That'd be right. Be too hard to just go through the gate, wouldn't it? You pain in the ass! Bring her back! Bring her back! Bring her back! There we go, they're gone. These are older sheep. These sheep have probably done this 50 times now, maybe. They're just being pigs for no fucking reason. See, they know where the fucking gate is. They're just being pains in the ass. Right. Next is those. Need to bring them over now because they didn't just walk over because that's too hard to just walk over. There they go, down the hill. Well, I have to get these ones because the first lot decided to go the other fucking way. This, if anyone wonders why we're changing to prime lines, this is why. Prime lines might be really slow and careful when they go places, but they don't play fucking games. See, they've split up again. Here they are, here. These are the other ones from that first mob. The um, second mob's already on their way back up this hill that we're on with the gates over there. But we'll just ignore that fact that they've gone three times as far as they fucking needed to. Prime lines are still where they are, but at least they're not walking the wrong bloody way. They off on our own way right there. One in front of it, one over there, up on the hill. See, prime lines like to stay in a group. It's much easier when sheep are in a group. Did you enjoy your walk up the hill? Because you're about to walk back down it and then back up the other side and then back down it again. 
thinking I'm going to push them all against the fence because then at least I have something that they're forced to walk against and they can't just go walk about. So we're going to push all these that way. Is she going to go all the way around and pick up that you, the problem you with the lamb again? I can't even see her. Where is she gone? Please get them all, please get them all, please get them all, please the love of God, get them all. I need you to get them all, slug. I need you to get them all. Come on, sluggy. Come on, sluggy. Come on, sluggy. Oh, you good, you good little slug. You good little slug. One you has pulled her finger out her ass, or hoof, I suppose, and is going through the gate. Yeah, the gate's open. <laughs> Fantastic. This is why we can't have nice things. Still going, still going, still going. I just know they're gonna play games with this gate. There they go there. Good girl, good girl. We did it. We got them here. Go see what Dad wants done now. Dev's just finishing up the last of that first mob I brought down. And I'll show them as I go past. My boots are a little bit dirty, but she'll be right. Come on, slug. Here they are. All crutched. All done up and nowhere to go. There they are. They're all done. They all look good. Nice clean bums. I'm just going to put the rav away. And then I think that's it. Thank you again, everyone. I'm stoked to have hit 100,000. What a crazy number. So come on, Slug. Thanks for watching. Why do you have wool on your face? Watermelon carving video. Do you approve Count Slugula? <laughs>